Hello and welcome to another episode of Viking Women's Basketball with Lynn Kennedy. And coach, let's just take a status of the program to start off here. You know, you dealt a few bad hands to start, frankly. Uh, you know, when other teams are practicing five on five, you weren't cleared until November 25th. And then shortly after that, when other teams are playing, you're in a two week quarantine. And yet, you know, hope springs eternal at the start of conference play here. What have you learned about your team so far? Well, I think we're catching up. I think that's, that's what we've gotten from the last two to three weeks. Um, we've gotten some more practice time in. You know, we're probably in a regular season, probably still mid-October, you know, in terms of practices and experience, but no one's making excuses for us and they don't care. So I think we've got to just step up our game. I think we saw that Monday night and that was a good experience for us. It, you're going to get the veteran team that was playing really well, coming off a win and, you know, they stepped up and they shot the lights out. I mean, give them credit. And I think it was good for us to see that in a non-conference setting. You know, you want that in those games before conference starts. And so even though it's a short turnaround, I think we gained a lot from that game. And then we need to take that to Thursday night and, and be better against Eastern Washington because teams are going to be, you, do, you don't know what you're going to get either from your team or from opposing teams this year. And so you've got to step up and play your best game every night. And I think that's what we've kind of learned this week. Yeah, and the Vikings are one and one after beating Dixie State in their season opener. And two things to emerge from those two games so far that are really positive are, you know, you're forcing a lot of turnovers and you're getting to the line. Let's take each of those individually. Uh, start with just the free throws, you know, in this early season when you might, the shooting numbers might be a little low because of the lack of practice. Getting to the line is really going to help you. Well, and that's one of our, you know, emphasis this off season. Uh, we talked a lot about our attack, getting to the basket, being better at inside, and that can open up our outside game. So we're seeing that, um, especially the last two games um, where we're getting to the free throw line. Uh, I think that our attack has been better, especially the second half against Dixie and then the, really the second and third quarter against uh, Air Force. So we've got to continue that. We've got to be still aggressive. Um, and I think that will start to open up shots on the outside as well. You know, I think, you know, defensively, we've been able to put a lot more pressure on teams, and I think that you can see that in the half court. Um, Dixie State, we were able to turn that game around really quick because we were able to get some steals. That led to some fast break opportunities. Even against Air Force, it got us back in the game. We had several opportunities in the second and third quarter where it's a two possession, three possession game, where if we keep that defensive intensity up, that'll allow us to get back in the game. So we're there, we're right there. I don't think the score really showed what, what the game was actually in the third quarter. So we got to continue to improve, continue to get better. I think our defensive rotations will get better with time. Um, you know, I was, even Monday night I was looking out there and at the time we had three freshmen on the floor with a sophomore. So at times we can be young, but I think it does help us with the experience of practices and games. And related to the turnovers, uh, some quick stats actually. The Vikings are forcing 20.5 turnovers a game at the moment. That leads the Big Sky. 11 steals a game, which t is tied for the Big Sky lead. And that really, I think, speaks to the athleticism that you had mentioned at the, in the preseason, especially on the perimeter there. Yeah, I think, I think as the season goes, you'll see more of it. I think right now we're just trying to figure out where our rotations, where we're supposed to be. And, and at times you can see it come out that we have that athleticism. We have the length. We're not as tall in the middle, but I think that I think we're more physical. I think we're more athletic. I think we are longer at positions. So I think that will definitely help us as the season goes and we get more comfortable on the defensive end. All right, and let's turn to this weekend now. This is the, your first conference weekend, and it's the first of these two games against the same opponent in one weekend. It's a different beast than a normal season. Like, what have you guys talked about as a coaching staff? We're taken from the men who have played a conference right. weekend. What have you learned? It's been different because we actually, you, you prepare for Weber before, and so you kind of were in that mindset uh, of preparing for a team twice. And so then to see the guys go through it, that kind of helped us too. To, even though we didn't get to play those games, we get to see them go through it. Two completely different games. I mean, completely different games. And you see the turnaround, you know, by our men on, on Sunday. So you don't know, you know, like I said before, it's, it's gonna be a lot of unknowns, you know, especially this first week, but one game at a time. You have to take one game at a time and almost treat it as two different opponents because I think a lot can change in two days um, as far as scout, uh, adjustments that can be made, um, you know, for them coming in 
I think they're a lot different now this year. Uh, in the past, they've been probably a good combination of guards and posts. Now it's really they're guard heavy and probably three or four of the best guards in the conference and they can all shoot it. Um, so we've got to be able to come into the game and really take their shots away. But at the same time, they can make adjustments. I mean, Wendy's a great coach. They do a great job of scouting. Um, it's a rival game. Big Sky Conference games are always rival games. So a lot can change um, within a couple of days. So one game at a time. I know that's a coach saying, but it really has to play true to, the, to this year and how you approach these first games. And a little bit more about the Eagles. They average over 22 three-pointers a game, and three-point shooting was central to every game you guys played last season. So just talk about that and trying to limit their potency from the outside. Well, and I mean, the, the great part about this rival game is they're exciting games. They're always, they always are. I think last year it was kind of a shooting war. I mean, we both came into it shooting the ball really well. Um, and one of our best three-point shooting games was up there at their place, and we ended up losing that game. So. Uh, we got off to a fast start in the tournament. They were able to shoot their way back into it. So it's, we know it's that type of game coming in. And uh, we've got to be better attacking, like we've said all year, getting to the basket, being better on the inside. I think that will open up our outside game. Uh, like we've talked about, I think at times, you know, we, we get away from what we do well, and that's attacking, getting to the basket. We stick with our outside shooting, we can shoot. And I think we are better shooters this year. Uh, but it's got to be, on, on the offensive end, it's got to be all aspects of the offensive end. On defense, we really got to pressure the shooters, get a hand up, uh, disrupt them, um, especially early on. I think they're so great at getting looks uh, um, as far as their offensive sets, what they look for as far as their passes, uh, getting to the right spots, and so we've got to take that away. We can't let them get into a, really a flow of their offensive sets, and if we do that and disrupt, I think we can get a, more of a flow on, on the defensive end for us and keep them off the glass too. You know, I think that that's one thing that we've really keyed in on um, the last couple games. We need to continue to do that throughout the year. All right, there it is. It's a reminder, it's a 6 p.m. tip on Thursday, 12 noon on Saturday. You can catch both games on Pluto TV channel 1051, which is a new channel this year. So watching the live stream will be never more important with no fans allowed. For links to all that and more information, visit GoVikes.com.